welcome to another GCSE Computer Science video with me, Mr. Goff, from mrgoff.com. Today's video will focus on factors that affect CPU performance. The performance of the CPU on a computer will greatly affect the experience a user has when they're using that computer. When choosing a new computer and comparing processors, the factors you should consider are clock speed, number of cores, and cache size. Clock speed is the number of instructions a processor can handle each second. It's measured in hertz and most modern processors are between 2 and 5 gigahertz. This means they can perform between 2 and 5 billion instructions per second. A higher clock speed means a faster running processor. The number of cores a processor has means how many separate processors does it have available. A single core means a single processor. A dual core means two processors. Quad core means four processors. Increasingly, machines are being sold with six, eight, and 10 cores. A single core processor running at two gigahertz can handle two billion instructions a second. A dual core with its multiple processors can handle twice as much, four billion instructions per second. Some programs are written to take advantage of multiple cores, but not all of them. It's harder to write a program that takes advantage of multiple cores. Even a program like a game that is written to take advantage of multiple cores must still have the main thread run on a single core. It can still send processing to be done on other cores, so it will be a bit quicker, but it's not fair to say that a quad core would be four times as fast as a single core at running the game. The cache is a small amount of very fast storage on or very near the CPU. It stores recently used and frequently used instructions. The control unit automatically checks the cache for instructions and data it's looking for before requesting them from RAM, which takes longer because RAM is further away. If data does have to be collected from RAM, a copy is stored in cache in case it's needed again in a short space of time. There are different levels of cache within a computer processor, with level 1 being the smallest and fastest because it is physically on the CPU. Level 2 and 3 may actually be somewhere between the processor and RAM. In a multi-core computer, each core has its own cache. As more cache means fewer trips to RAM, which takes longer, more cache means a better performing CPU. That concludes our short look at the factors that affect CPU performance. Join me again in the next video, where we'll be looking at the fetch to code execute cycle. If you haven't used them before, try the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise computer science. Until next time, it's bye for now.